Hello guys, Wilson Box here. Tomorrow we're going to unlock the journey level 21 and that means you're going to be able to unlock our heroes to level 90. So we're going to be able to level up them to 90 and with this we're going to unlock as well Goblin Lair 2. So it's really important that we can find the team to farm this on the highest stage, the fastest we can and the best we can and that's what I'm doing this video. So Goblin Lair 2 Stage 5, I'm going to show you guys the team I, I did with just uh, free to play heroes. So I'm using two rares, two frost rares. This is just basically a frost team. I'm using two rare heroes and two epic heroes. And also Garius to tank, but you can use another tank as you wish. I'm just using these guys, they are really good to farm these. And if you, oh, I'm using a really good gear guys, so if you want to maximize this, you can do it on manual mode, will be much better, and you're gonna be even faster. Okay, so these guys are amazing, especially these two, alright, they have a really good synergy to this, especially this guy, Vidimir, okay, he uses this aura, 24% attack, so you need more attack to do this as fast as possible. The Another trick is to not use your ultimate, on Garius because we don't want him to stay back. Uh, Vor Frobart is not a good one for Goblin Lair because he does the passive and when he's doing the casting the passive he stays, uh, he's not moving for a while and we don't want that. So I'm using only Epic Gear because at this moment with all the guides I already did, if you've been farming a lot, um, I hope that you guys already have a lot of Epic Gear or at least some of some Epic Gear. And the most important of this is to do easily the stage 4 and you're gonna do very easy with this hero stage 4, alright? If you have a good gear. You don't need to have be full epic, but at least some good pieces of epic gear will be really good. Also, you're gonna be able to level up your artifacts to 16, so I'm using some artifacts on 20 because I can't reset them and I'm using the test server. But I'm not using any gems, just to make it a little bit fair, since I'm using artifacts on uh, 4 levels higher. But you can use it on 16. So, let's have a look here. I'm basically using uh, tank here, okay? 2 pieces of granite, 2 pieces of placing, just to give more HP. Defense percentage here, if possible, but this will not be a big problem. Okay, these two, we really want to give the best gear to these two guys. Alright, so this one, uh, it's 13 because I don't have more incense on the test server, I just need to do some more summons, but I was lazy. But 13, if you give him the incense burner, will be really good because of his battle skill. So, how this works? This guy is going to cast this battle skill at 4.7 seconds and then 9.3. And when he casts this, the, this battle skill and applies frost, he's going to recharge the ultimate energy by 25%. So with this, he's going to cast this, he's going to increase, he's going to gain this 15% attack up, and he's going to hit some heroes under frost. And with this, this guy here, Vidimir, uh, again, is uh, 90, uh, is 95 stars <laughs> by mistake, but uh, that's not a big difference. But Epic Gear, use Diabol on him, because will be really good, and for him, his ultimate is going to play a great role here. So we have 5 goblins. 3 for 5 goblins, so this war will work perfectly. Alright, so he's gonna cast this ball, alright? And this Ice Nova is gonna bounce between the 5 guys, and if they have frost, hopefully they have, because I have a lot of accuracy on this guy, 125 is going to activate this ultimate, and the heroes with frost is gonna explode, and basically they're gonna die uh, all, alright? Then basically that's it, then I'm using Vo Voj Voje and Walt just to give a little bit of help and to help with the damage and applying frost. So we can apply frost as well, but I have more uh, damage gear on them. Okay, so Goblin, I have this Goblin Brawler and this Barbarian, two sets, attack percentage and crit rate. And then this guy, I have also accuracy with this Crown of Clean, just to give more accuracy and also this set of accuracy just to make sure he's applying a frost and also because when he successfully inflicts frost on enemies he's going to recharge his ultimate energy by 10% which will be 
really good and help a lot. But basically these two guys, they will be really important and these two are, are the ones that are going to carry <laughs> these to be faster. So you can use this team to farm stage 5, uh, will be really quick with them and if you want to do stage 4, as they will be really good as well because uh, still if they are not 90 level yet, if they are like 80s or 80 something, will be still good because on stage 5 they are 100 and I can almost do this uh, on that timing and I'm sure on stage 4 you can I already did on a stage 4 with this team and it's easy peasy alright so I'm just gonna show you guys I can show the stage 4 as well uh, but I'm gonna show you guys auto mode you can do this on manual be even better I already did on manual so I'll show the timing I did with manual because it will be less than auto mode and let's see, let's give a look. So you guys gonna see, so as you guys see, Garius is doesn't have the ultimate on. This guy already cast the ultimate. These two as well. Now Vladimir Vidim is going to cast his ultimate. That is going to explode. And he kills everyone. Alright. Then Garius, we and Garius always on the front. Okay. Again, frost on these guys. Because if they have the frost, they gonna explode and this guy giving some help as well again as you guys can see this is really fast and we want to keep the frost on them so if we didn't had this on auto mode we could do this on manual uh, I'll explain you guys after this run because this is gonna be fast how is the perfect way to do this to take the less time um, without I mean, you can do this on auto mode, but if you want to do stage 4 and take less time, I'll show you how you can do it. So, it's almost done. Alright. They're almost done. I think it's this will be the last wave, I think. Or, or the will be one more. Yeah, one more. Yeah, but as you guys see, this is on auto mode, so... Okay, and they're gonna finish it now. And that's it. So, let's have a look how, how long did we t took. So, 129, my best was 117. So, with this incense burner on 16, I'm pretty sure this will be much better. And I'm gonna show you guys how you should do stage 4 and how is the best optimization for this. So let's do it this on manual. Alright, because it's much better. So, this guy is gonna cast his battle skill pretty soon. Alright, and we just want to make sure that Vladimir Vidimir will cast his ultimate after this guy. Alright, so we want this guy to cast. Oh, they were a bit confused. And then we can cast after this one. We always want to cast ultimate after this guy. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work so well. Alright. So we want to cast this and make sure you have all the most frost on them as possible. Just to increase our damage. This will not be the best run, anyway. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of frost, so this will be a good one. Okay, frost on them, it's much faster as you guys can see. Okay, if they have frost, you can cast the Vladimir Vidimir ulti. Because if they have frost, they're gonna explode. Okay, and same thing. Frost on them. They frost, it's alright. Okay, and I think will be hit. Yeah. And there you go. Was much faster. Uh, you can time this as well. This was 119, almost the best I did, 117. So this is how you want to do on stage 4 if you're having some trouble to do stage 4. After stage 5, it's up to you. If you want to optimize this, it will be faster. If you just want to do this on auto mode with some tickets and you don't care if it's taking more 5 or 6 seconds, then you can leave this on auto mode and you don't need to worry about anything. 
if you guys want some timings, I can create some timings, some good timings for them, and then I just leave on the comments below this video. If not, I hope with auto mods will, you guys will be fine and use this strategy for stage 4 or if you just want to unlock for the stage 9. If you have any other questions, just leave on the comments, guys. I hope this guide and this team help you guys. I think this Frost Heroes and this Frost team is really good uh, to farm Goblin Lair. If you have the... F there are some Fire Heroes that are also really good. But this was the, the team I did for now. If you guys want more teams to farm uh, Goblin Lair with just epic and rare gears, just as well, comment below. Come to my Discord and I'll try my best to help you guys. So... Thank you so much for watching this video, as always don't forget to leave that like and subscribe to this video, it helps a lot and supports my channel, and see you next time.